Hi, this is Dave. We're going to graph the equation of a line given two points. Find the function of the line that meets the following conditions. f of negative 6 equals negative 2 and f of 3 equals 4. Then graph the line on the provided grid. This f of negative 6 simply means that if we input the value of negative 6 into the function f, we're going to get an output of negative 2. And likewise, if we input the value of 3 into the function f, we're going to get an output value of 4. So we're going to go ahead and rewrite this data in a, in, in a numerical form, a table. And we have input of negative 6 equals negative 2, and input of 3 equals 4. Now, we're, first we're going to need to find the slope of a line, and the a function or the equation for slope is m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And what we have in this table is we simply have, have the slope formula rewritten in a graphical organizer type of form. And so we can take uh, the bottom minus the top, 6, 4 minus negative 2, which is 6, and 3 minus negative 6, which is 9, and a little integer arithmetic. And we take right hand over left to determine slope, change in y, divided by the change in x. So m equals 6 over 9, which simplifies to 2 thirds. Now a lot of times I get asked, well, what, do we have to take bottom minus top? No, if we take a top minus bottom, we would get negative 6 on the right side, and negative 6 minus 3 is negative 9. Well, if we take m equals right over left, negative 6, over 9, negative 9, we would likewise get 2 thirds. So it really doesn't matter which way we subtract as long as we do the same way for the change in y and the change in x. Next we're going to use our, uh, we're going to find the equation of the line. Now you might be most familiar with this equation of the line, y equals mx plus b, which is the point slope form. We could use this form, but there is a form that's easier called the point slope form, which is y minus y1 equals m times quantity x minus x1. And in this form, we can use one point, y x1 comma y1, and a slope to determine the equation of the line. So we're going to go ahead and use this second point here, just because it's closer. So we take y minus y1, which is 4, equals m. And m, again, we calculate to be 2 thirds times quantity x minus x1, which is 3, there we have an equation of a line. Now we're going to convert this equation to a, a slope-intercept form. And to do that, we're going to first distribute 2 thirds to both terms inside parentheses. So we bring down y minus 4 equals 2 thirds x minus, and 2 times negative 3 will be negative 6 over 3, uh, next, to solve for y, if we add 4 to both sides of the equation, we cancel here, we get y equals, we get 2 thirds x, and negative 6 over 3 will, will uh, simplify to minus 2 plus 4, minus 2 plus 4 is 2. So this is an equation of our line which we're going to write, y equals 2 thirds x plus 2. Now we're going to take this equation and graph, graph it. This value of 2 is the y-intercept, which we're going to call for our purposes here, our initial value. In other words, the value of the, of the function when x equals 0. And so we come on our y-axis up to 2, mark our y-intercept, and here we have in fractional form a rise over run. Now if we have an integer, if we had say 2x, well then it would be 2 over 1. So anyway, our rise is 2. And next we go to the right, 3 units, and we call this our run, which equals 3. And so now we have two points, and we're going to use those two points and kind of extend them to make a a uh, graph that covers the coordinate grid we have here. Okay, we bring a line like this, and so this is our this is our line, the, the function, 
that we calculated. Lastly, we're going to take our two original points and see if they work. Okay, if we take negative 6, comma negative 2, we go to negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, comma negative 2, down 2, so negative 6, comma negative 2, check, that works. Lastly, we take our second point, uh, 3, comma 4, so we go to the right 3 units and up 4 units, and we see we have 3, comma 4 resting on the line. So we've done all the things we need to do. First, we found the slope. Secondly, we found the equation of the line. Uh, we graphed the line, and we checked our original two points on this line. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for viewing.